Alaska Performance Partners. Count on performance, not promises. Hi, this is Larry Ann with Alaska Performance Partners, Jack White Real Estate. And we just received Brian Buffini's real estate report, mid-year report. He puts out a report twice a year. It's a national report, but it also reflects a lot on what's going on in the Anchorage market as much as it does nationwide. And one of the, the big things I think that needed to be addressed was the difference between now and when we had the crash and why this isn't a bubble. One of the biggest questions coming out uh, from people right now is, is this a bubble? Is the market going to crash? And the answer is no, it's not. And what's, what's the difference? Let's address them real quick. In 2007, 2008, when we had the big crash, the things that created it was low down payments, flexible mortgage rates, and oversupply of housing. In July of 2007, we had 4 million houses on the market. Right now in 2021, we have 1.16. There's a big difference there. The other thing, the big thing driving the market right now is simple supply and demand and extremely low interest rates. The lowest interest rates, I've been in this business off and on 40 years. I've never seen interest rates like this. Never thought I would. Uh, and one of the big driving factors is there's a lot of people that always wanted to own a home, but at four and a half percent interest, they couldn't afford the payments on a 300,000 or a $400,000 house. Now every 1% interest rate on a $300,000 home adds $565 a month to the payment. So you knock that down to two and a half percent, you've eliminated $1,100 a payment that now a lot of people do qualify for. So we've been underbuilt for the last 10 years nationwide, especially in Anchorage. Now, all of a sudden, we have this mass amount of people that can buy, that want to buy. We have pent up demand. We're coming out of the pandemic. A lot of people were literally stuck at home and not spending a dime because they couldn't go anywhere. And now they have this money that they're able to buy and they're out and they're looking. Lawrence Yoon has predicted it will take three to five years for the market to get back in balance. In April of 2007, we had a eight month supply of homes on the market. Right now we have 2.1 months, the lowest ever recorded. So it's not a bubble, I'm not gonna see a crash. Eventually the market will come back in balance. The feds at this point have decided to let inflation run. Uh, we have some of the highest inflation rates that we've had for a number of years. Eventually, they will raise interest rates to bring that down and control it. But right now, their decision is to keep the interest rates low. That's one of the things driving the market. We're going to look at a few other things here that I thought were interesting in the report. In a year ago, we had a four-month supply of houses on the market. Now, as I said, we have 2.1. Existing home sales, 5.85 million. That's 20% raise year over year. The medium price nationwide is up 19.1%. But in the West, and we are the West, the med median home price has gone up to $501,000. Hopefully you can see this nationwide, what's happened to prices. No one that I know of is predicting that this is going to come down. They think it's going to continue and it's going to continue for the long term. 30 year fixed rates are running 3% or below, especially with a 10% down payment. Uh, for every home that costs 329,000, a 1% increase can cost, an interest rate can cost $525. What can buyers expect? The buying process is taking longer. Mainly this is due to the fact that title is backed up. Lending is backed up. It's taking longer. Appraisers are backed up. I don't think anyone anticipated this market or saw it coming. Now everybody's paying, playing catch up. They're trying to train people to do their jobs, do them properly. Uh, title's a good example. To work in title, you have to be licensed in the state of Alaska, and it can take a while to train somebody, have them pass the licensing exam, and get them in a position where they can do a job. Some people have left just due to burnout from trying to keep up with the demand. Uh, the three biggest buyer concessions, 
buyers are making changes to sweeten the deal. They're higher down payments. They're paying above asking price and they're waiving contingencies like inspection or major repairs. So be sure to prepare your buyers. Uh, what to expect from sellers? Average time on the market in 2021, you're going to love this, 17 days. If you got a house on the market, it's been on the market for 45 days, you got an issue somewhere. We will have another one of these reports coming in six months from Buffini, which we will also report on. The homeowner equity increase in 2020 was $1.5 trillion. Real estate is 18% of the national economy in the United States. Property values are going to continue to grow. We will have ups, we'll have downs, but I don't think we're going to see things come down like they did in 2007 and 2008. We're here to help you in any way we can. We love working with our buyers and our sellers. If you're looking to buy a property or if you're looking to sell in this market, give one of us a call here at Alaska Performance Partners, myself, Krista, Amanda, or Alex. Thank you for visiting us today, and we'll see you next week with another video.